Hey everybody, this is Reborn here showing you the Assassin tank as Fog Speed Clear, starting at Gad's encampment, obviously. I'm gonna have my mission map up the whole time, that way you know pretty much a route if you were to watch this video and repeat yourself. You're able to do practice runs on your own, just running through, learning the map. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a cupcake just to make it a little faster, even though we got a Paragon for speed boost. I'm not going to be running the most efficient route. I'm just going to be making it to the dungeon, as you see at my key there. It's way up here. It usually takes about a minute and 40 seconds, roughly, to make it there. But the Paragon is a little faster, so... We have, I think, two new people, so we'll see how the run goes as far as damage goes. But at least for the expectation as an assassin, your main goal to learn this run is to make it through the first level as a solo assassin, basically, because your role is going to be making the assassin tank um, the first room level at the dungeon. All you're going to do is run to the dungeon and then run through to level two. So all of level one is taken care of by the assassin. So you're pretty much expected to be on your own, making it all the way there. I'll be sure to post the link in the description, the uh, template code for what I'm using as a build. I'll give you two builds because I have two preferences. So. This build does not have Ebon Escape. I prefer not to run Ebon Escape, and I like Dash just because it's a little bit faster. But if you're running Concept, um, then you should be fine. A lot of people don't usually run Concepts. So they'll just run Deadly Paradox, which it's okay. You can do it, but it's a lot easier if you run a Concept when you go for it. Then you won't need as much of a speed boost, just like a Cupcake or a Dark Escape, Dash, etc. Dash would be recommended if you're trying to be pro-ish so you have the best time. Heaven Escape's another nice one you can use. I just prefer Death to Charge because of the extra heal. And especially being the Assassin tank in level 2, you'll be pretty much the front line. So once you're here, you're going to go ahead and pop into... Well, I'm already going to accept the quest because I've done this before, so I'm just going to accept the quest instead of get it. But normally you would talk to Griff before you, prior to getting into the portal. That way you have your quest in order to do the uh, dungeon. If you don't have the quest, then it's just a little less reward. So let's see if somebody's got it or not. We let everybody load, and then we run back. The reason you run back is so everybody can get the quest in order to get the reward for doing this dungeon. So I grab the quest, and then I can just run back to the portal. All right, so we're going to be in business. Get my inventory up. I'm going to be the one providing cons. I just teach run to make it safe. I'm going to go ahead and pull a whole concept, make it a little easier for me as well as I can talk as I go. All right, so let's get this started. So we just let the damage team go ahead and take care of these enemies, and then you can get this gate opened in order to make your track to level two. And you can see in the mini mission map that I'm going to pretty much make a little loop to the U in order to get to the destination. The whole run, you have to ensure you maintain shadow form in order to not die, pretty much. If you maintain shadow form, then you're not going to die. You shouldn't, 90%, as long as you don't get interrupted or dazed by the Incubus, which are, there's a few areas that you have to deal with them more in level 2 than level 1. All right, let's get this started. So throughout the run, I use Death Charge just as a little jump. And the reason I once again said dash, because when you have dash and a cupcake, you break pretty much almost immediately on the way there. So all I'm going to be doing is running to the dungeon. Notice that I am the route that I have on my mission map for the ones that are trying to learn. So I have shatter form about to go out. You want to ensure you cast shatter form. It looks like I got stuck, so I death charged. That way I can get away from it to make it through. All right, so now that I made it here, I'm going to keep running. The other assassin learning made or sin, so he's just trying to follow along. But since this is a guide view, I can take it a little slow in order to show you all the route. So the biggest thing as level one assassin is just maintaining your shadow form 24 seven, no matter what, and you make it through. So I'm gonna hit tab until I get to that route, make sure I have, I am unstoppable up in order to death charge, but, and not get erupted, which I did end up getting stuck there almost. So I use my unseen fury blind skill when the melee came at me. That way, if there's melee, you just keep running and uh, they're blinded, so they won't hit you as hard. This build that I'm running is a little more speed proof than it is actual tanking ability. That way, that let's say I don't need an uh, extra one or two skills for healing. I'm more 
based on damage for the, the team. That's why I have Evan Battle Vanguard. You'll see at the end of level three, I'm at level two when we get there to show exactly, hey, where, where am I going to put this and how am I going to do it and when. So Bog Speed Clear's main goal is just to kill the uh, the final boss at the second round, just to farm the froggy tonic, not froggy tonic, the froggy scepters. I wish there'd be a froggy tonic. That'd be awesome. Imagine having a, a froggy tonic. That would look cool. You could turn into like different types of frogs depending on your profession. Probably be a rare tonic drop from here. Anyway, so here's your round. See the loop. I'm going to stop for a second and take a little look to see exactly how you get there. Literally, if you make it once, you'll have this in your mission map so you won't ever have to worry about, hey, where am I going to go next time? Let me go offline. There's people messaging me. All right, make sure you get your beacons. Wait for everybody to load if you're the concept provider. Pop another concept. Now, here's where the whole team runs. So I'm just going to run together. That way, hey, people need to know, hey, what are we doing? We're going to run together. As a tank, usually some people, if you're new, you got to expect, hey, if there's a new person, sometimes you want to be in the back end. That way you're making sure that there's people that are able to ebb and escape you. Because the assassin tank should not die as long as you maintain shadow form. So here's the boss here that we're going to be going towards. The Kabus. So we have to make a big U-turn, just like we did level one, but instead it's backwards. Instead of going to the left of you, we're going to the right of you. And you maintain your enchantment. The whole time you're running so let's say right up here we're about to hit enemies this is where you need to use shadow form prior and then i'm going to go ahead and use island stoppable and dc on that incubus the reason i dc'd on it is so he can try to touch me we have a paragon so he has can't touch this that way we can avoid getting touch skills but we're going this way sorry i wrote wrong so now here this is where if you're an assassin you don't know where you're going you really can just follow the team and act like you know what you're doing and in a sense you'll be fine without having to worry. So we have a, um, a good paragon that's keeping our enchantments. So everybody hasn't died yet. So that's a good thing. As well as me running a full concept has helped as well tremendously. Uh-oh, looks like I got stuck. Let's see. Nope, I'm not stuck. If you get stuck, just type slash stuck and you should make it through. So now we're just gonna run through this right route, staying with the paragon and staying with the team. This is where a lot of people would say, hey, why don't we have I, um, Ebon Escape as a recommended skill, but I would not rather just run de Death Charge because whenever you go into the spike, you have it. And then there's another build I'll put in the description. You'll actually have both. So now we're just going to run straight through the middle. I maintain my dash. Don't use Death Charge here because you're going to need Death Charge in about 20 seconds. And the recharge is about 25 to 30 seconds, so you probably would not want that to be waiting on recharge. That way you won't have anybody waiting on you to, to get into the group. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and DC into here. So let me go ahead and get up my skill. I'm going to go DC right into this boss. So I DC into him and then I use this. Uh, I did break aggro a little bit. It's OK. He moved to the left and I wait to use Unseen Fury. You do not want to use Unseen Fury when you death charge until after you have majority of the groups here and then just attack the boss. Now, yes, we do have a few people dead this round, which is fine. We'll just res whenever we die. But basically, just make sure you try to kill the so rip boss and pick up the thing as soon as it spawns. He's almost dead, but we look like we're going to wipe. So just wipe, redo. We'll be fine. So here, you see in the route so far, it's literally just a big loop. We could have gone right earlier here earlier if you're looking, but instead we hug the left area. That way you eliminate a little bit of the aggro. There's a lot of enemies that you run through here. And if you get stuck for just seconds, you're screwed. Unless you're an assassin, you can maintain enchantments. So, so here you just, once you res, you're right where you were just at. Make sure you have death charge. And then I'm going to DC in. They got aggro, I hope not. Nope. So I just say spike. I uh, use my thing. Make sure you have your shield here. This is the only area you'll need shield besides the end. Fog speed clear is only clear in two areas. So uh, there's people slow. I didn't use a cupcake and the apple. That's the reason I died. I'll just blame it on that. <laughs> we have a really sloppy spike team. 
because of the fact that we have two derves down and the other derve is learning. So we might have to just repeat again. But anyway, you see the gist of what you do here as a tank is you're going to go in, you're going to actually just death charge the, the group, the rip boss right here, and then you're just going to maintain all of your stances up and then use your Evan Vanguard following by Unseen Fury to blind enemies as soon as they spawn. So we're just going to repeat. Wait on him to die. I'm going to do one more. I do not have party removal. Nope. So I'm just going to, this time I'm going to pop a cupcake. This time, so I shouldn't die. As long as the spike is good. They were a little slow. So I'm going to blame it on the spike team. It ain't the tank's fault here. So if you don't, if they don't spike within 10 seconds, then that's the tank. That's not the tank's fault. That's the spiker's fault. Your job here is a tank. And you cannot do nothing except wait until they group up. Once they group up, then you're safe to say, all right, now you're good to spike. See now how, see how they're starting to group up? I use Unseen Fury a little early because I noticed there's a few enemies attacking me. So I went ahead and used it. A second that it respawns, there we go. Now we got it. So we got the, the boss key. Now we can run. See, that's all it was. The tank um, did his fine. This objective was fine here. It's the damage rolls. They were spiking either too early or too late. Or they started scattering and they aggroed without charging or evident escaping me as the tank. So now we're almost to the end already. We are at the five minute mark. We should be done right now for a successful, you know, no issues. But we had two little minor issues of rezzing. At least we have everybody with us when we run through here. So nobody should die. I hope not. So everybody's supposed to EE -E Kayla, the one that's about to die. Basically, if you have, if you were running the EE -E bar and your assassin, you would help also with Evan Escape on the team, right? So now that we're here, you see the complete route for Bog Speakler, not just as a tank, but as any role for level two, it will be the same. Since everybody's here, hopefully we make it the first time. This is the very most critique focused area as a tank in order to say, all right, where do I know exactly where I need to stand and where I need to go in order to get this grouped up properly? It's gonna be pretty fast paced when I do it, but what I'm gonna do is go in and I'm gonna run past this enemy group here. I'm not even going to use, I got crippled, my bad, but I'm not even going to use death charge, but I'm targeting the boss. So notice how I'm going in, I'm pulling them back. Oh my gosh, we had somebody aggro. So you're not supposed to aggro. Now they need a spike. We're waiting on them to spike. I might die because of the derv, The derv spiked early, so we're going to blame it on the derv. They aggroed when they're not supposed to. It's okay. That happens. I did my job. I went in. I grouped them up. Since they're all trying to kill before we redo, basically all I did was I looped in. I came to right here, and then I DC'd in. So the moment I, the, we, the reason you run all the way to this wall, the reason you run to this wall is only because you have casters that are here and here, that are trying to group up on the boss before you would DC in. So that's the only reason. Good thing we died. That way I can give a better explanation one more time. So we're going to go ahead and go back in and repeat. I do not have any DP removal. It'll be okay. So here we go. All right, now we're going to go ahead and do it a repeat. See, I'm already targeting the boss. You want to make sure you target the boss when you do this. So good. About right before aggro bubbles when I grab my shadow form. See how I'm targeting the boss. I use I am unstoppable right when they're about to aggro to me. Make sure you walk backwards here so they can group up. See how they're about to group up? All right, now I DC in. I got erupted, which is my fault. I was supposed to blind them and then use Evan Vanguard Assassin. See, boom, worked perfectly though because we have a good damage spike that time. So now we just finish up with barbs and just finish attacking. Use the Vanguard Assassin again with minions and it annihilates it. So we are at an eight minute run. So we're about three minutes shy of a good run. So that's just because of us dying three times where we had to. There's no luck this time as a froggy scepter for me, but I've gotten them in the past. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. This is Reborn from Legit.
This is from Gad's Encampment Bog Speed Clear Tank Guide. If y'all have any questions, feel free to ask. If y'all would like any form of a, me teaching you one-on-one -on -one with this run, just let me know and comment. Thanks for watching. This is Reborn Legit out.